Anyway, look, let's talk about what's going on in the Middle East at the moment. Defence Secretary Grant Shapps joins us now. Good morning to you. It's good to see you. What can the UK do? I know we're sending some ships to the Eastern Med, which is meant to you know, stop supplies of weapons getting into Hamas. But, but diplomatically, militarily, what are our options? Yes, that's right. We're sending not just ships, but also aircraft to really monitor uh, the situation, provide surveillance, uh, provide uh, the potential for humanitarian aid, but also to act as a deterrent in the the wider region that other others who might want to get involved in at the moment what is essentially a terrorist organization having attacked Israel and Israel's response. Uh, and we don't want to see other organizations thinking, oh, this is an opportunity to exploit that situation. So Britain's sending uh, that uh, assistance. But also, uh, I mean, for example, I was at NATO yesterday uh, talking to uh, my fellow defense ministers. We had a briefing on the Israel situation. Um, there's a huge amounts of diplomatic work goes on in the background as well. We're all sort of scratching our heads over this and thinking, what can politicians do? What can you do that might actually bring this to a speedy end? Well, I think it's really important that we don't see this uh, widen up into uh, a, a more regional conflict. And so one of the things that we can do is something that the UK is, is perhaps uniquely or more uniquely positioned to do, uh, which is to ensure that we uh, have assets, th those boats and, and aircraft in the region um, to assist. Now that, that can be partly practical because we can monitor what's going on uh, from the, both from the air uh, and also provide assistance from the sea. Remember some of those attacks from Hamas came in from the uh, sea, for example. Um, but uh, really I think it's a question of providing uh, uh, a, a sort of package of uh, support uh, making sure that we're speaking to the leaders on all sides. You know that the Prime Minister spoke to the Egyptian, the Egyptian leadership the president yesterday. We've been speaking to uh, the Israeli side uh, and trying to ensure that Israel, who have an absolute right to defend themselves, given the appalling and disgusting terrorist attacks that they were subject to. And by the way, again, at NATO yesterday in Brussels, uh, we were subject to seeing the videos of what, uh, the, of what went on, the Hamas videos, where they beheaded people. Uh, and, you, you know, really, when you see the extent of what Israel is up against, it's horrific. There is no other way to describe this but pure and simple terrorism. Uh, look, and I think most people would agree with you, but war is a dirty business, sadly. Um, what, what does the government actually make of, of Israel's response? Because it is inevitable that, that the response is going to mean civilian deaths in Gaza. And, has, and we've seen videos of dead babies in Gaza and, and, and all the rest of it. I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely grim. And the problem with all this is, as you rightly say, Israel has been subject to a horrific terrorist attack and needs to defend itself but we're seeing civilians suffer in Gaza. Yeah, look, I think the thing to say or to remember is Hamas' entire purpose deliberately is to murder innocent men, women and children, behead them, uh, rape them, drag them off. Uh, Israel has, I think, an absolute right and, in fact, a duty, uh, given what's going on, to go after those terrorists. Those terrorists, of course, are using human beings uh, as human shields and hiding behind them, hiding in their homes. What Israel is doing is making sure that they drop leaflets. They use the telephone network uh, to warn people. They use what's called knock and drop, where they drop a, a small munition to provide a warning to leave the area and, and provide uh, that opportunity for people to get out whilst they pursue the terrorists who are using that human population to try to protect them. So, you know, there is no equivalence between these two. This is a very different uh, approach. Uh, of course, we want to make sure that life is preserved. Um, but what is Israel to do? Just, oh, well, we'll just have these terrorists here who are going to break in at any time and attack the population with the sole purpose of killing the population, uh, civilians, which is not what Israel is about Israel's about getting rid of those terrorists.
Sometimes uh, you feel utterly bewildered by what happens in the world. Um, Ukraine, obviously, is a war that's ongoing and, and must be at the top of your agenda as well. Uh, probably been forgotten by many just in the last few days because of what's happening with Israel. But um, all of this terrible conflict going on, um, we can't forget Ukraine either, can we? Absolutely. And I spent the last three days um, at NATO, as I mentioned. I met President Zelensky for the second time in two weeks. Uh, I'd actually invited him to come to a contact group. That's about 50 countries, all, all of them supporting Ukraine in the war against Putin. Uh, and I'd asked uh, President Zelensky to come and speak to us and provide an update. So that happened. We're still completely focused on that war in Ukraine, the war in Europe. And, and you, as you rightly say, we must not let ourselves be distracted uh, at all uh, by Hamas and the terrorist activity in the Middle East. We also need to make sure, because that's what Putin will have been looking for, we also need to make sure that we keep on uh, with our support for Ukraine. I have to report, actually, that's exactly what happened this last couple of days with a lot of countries committing to support Ukraine, including the United Kingdom, who led a package, an international package of about £170 million of additional assistance to the Ukrainian fight. Mm. I mean, there, there is, there's, a, there's a lot on your plate. What's, what's your position on whether or not it is legal to block um, aid corridors into Gaza? Well, look, we, of course, we want aid to flow and uh, that the United Kingdom uh, provides aid to uh, Palestinians and the Prime Minister uh, and others have been speaking to, uh, myself included, actually, have been speaking to uh, the Egyptians, for example, about um, in, in, ensuring this aid and also, also ensuring that um, British citizens can leave. But uh, as I say, the, the none of this needs to happen if Hamas, A, hadn't gone in and slaughtered innocent men, women, women and children. As I say, I, I saw the very distressing evidence of this yesterday whilst at NATO. And of course, uh, if Hamas released the uh, people that they on, have kidnapped and are now holding hostage. So again, Hamas, Hamas can can end this. Uh, uh, they started it and they can end it. And uh, you know we will be supportive of Israel's right to defend itself, given uh, that they're the ones who came under attack. Mm. Um, Minister, good to see you as always. Appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. I know you've got a very busy time ahead of you.